Hey everybody, happy weekend. It's Friday. Um, so I'm in a different room. I was trying to adjust this a little bit. It's not quite working. Um, I'm in my closet and I'm sitting at my little vanity. Um, so I came in here. It's quiet. There should be no animals. Um, I wanted to show you what we're doing today. I got my secret subscription in. I popped it open, but I have not looked inside. Um, this is my third box from Secrate, and I also got in a shirt from this company called Lux Couture Fashion. Okay. Um, so, but I ordered it through a website called Jane. Jane is a massive, like, I don't know. It would be like a parent company with a ton of companies underneath it. That's what Jane is. So you, there, Jane has all kinds of vendor, um, vendors below them, and they have an app. It's so incredibly easy to get in trouble because you can add something to your cart and just slide the button to order, and then you're done. It's really way too easy. Um, but I got a shirt, and it was only ten dollars and ninety nine cents. You do pay shipping through Jane individually. If you're buying, you know, things from different companies on there. So you do need to watch that or you'll get a little shocked with the shipping costs. Um, the shipping for the shirt was $3.99, which wasn't bad. So the total for the shirt I'm about to show you is $14.99. And it's so cute. So they have blowouts. And if you order something, like they have clearance items. If I order something today, then they give me a sneak preview of the things that are going to be up on the site tomorrow. But they don't show you the prices on those things. And then um, you can favorite items, too, so you kind of get notified. But this is by, what's this shirt by? 22nd. Yeah, 22nd. It's got a little velvet and a little floral. Is this so cute or what? I loved this when, I, when it came in. So I'm super, super excited to see what that's going to look like on. Um, I'm sure you'll see it in an upcoming video. Um, again, you can get those on jane.com. It was a, a blowout, but you could also go to their website, which is lux, spelled L-U-X-E, couturefashion.com. Okay. I also want to show you, before we get started, for my Just Fab for the month, I got a little pair of... Um, shoes in, but I think I'm going to have to exchange them. They're just a little bit tight. Um, but look, they're for Valentine's Day, guys. So look. Are those the cutest little shoes you have ever seen? I just thought they were stinking adorable. They have little red embroidered hearts. They're a little slip-on shoe. And I thought they'd be so cute to wear on Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, I mean, I could get away with wearing them, but they are a bit stiff. Um, they're size seven. I, if you go to just fab and get these, I would recommend going up to a half size in your normal size if you want to look for them. But yeah, so those are my Valentine shoes. How cute are those? Not for my dress. You guys saw the dress I got from mix and match. That is still going to be for the evening, but for the daytime will be those. Um, and I got a shirt from, I think this shirt I'm wearing was from, I think that this one is also from Bad Habit Boutique, so I'm going to stand up and show it to you because it's really pretty. Oh, I got to move my little stool back. So there's that. And I just, I just paired it. It's long, um, well, it's like three quarter sleeves long, so it's not super long. I just paired it with, actually, this cardigan also came from Bad Habit Boutique, this little charcoal cardigan. This, this cardigan's not real long, but, um, I like this shirt too. This is super cute. This is, I wore that with a pair of gray trousers to work today and it was a drum. All right, let's see what we have in our secret. I will have my link below. The jury's kind of out on Secret for me. I, I liked my first one. I, the second one, I it was just eh, you know? Um, uh, we'll see what this one is. And we'll see what we're going to be doing if we're going to continue this or not. Um, Secret does give you, every, every month, they give you a little newsletter. And the newsletter tells you a little bit more information about the items in here. 
and um, where they came from. It looks like this has a recipe for Tide and Thyme shrimp, uh, Tide and Thyme shrimp Alfredo. Um, so this this box is about uh, all kinds of beach. It's it's geared towards the beach lover. So that's what you know, kind of the theme of everyone is. Uh, they always have like a contest to this month. It looks like a bracelet for Mary Mo McCrimmon, Copperhead Queen, as our open sea crepe prize. We look forward to seeing you post a favorite item or a few from your February sea crate on Instagram to enter. And then you got to tag them. So I will probably do this. This is a cute little copper bracelet. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this picture. There it is. Maybe that's better. It's a copper bracelet, and it looks like it has some sort of a gemstone in the middle of it. So I'm going to keep this with me as we are <clears throat> looking to see what we have in here. So the first thing that's in here <clears throat> looks like a card. Yeah, <clears throat> beautiful sea glass card, actually. Oh, there's stuff in here, too. Okay, so this is just a plain card, a little note card to use for whatever. But some stuff fell out. So um, this is a card about, oh, this is interesting. So this is about flat sea glass. And it's actually a kind of a, a thicker card. And it talks about uh, flat glass shards found on beaches came from windows, windshields, and picture frames. They're virtually colorless, exhibiting a most faint ice blue or soft green hue. But if the source glass was designed to provide privacy and decoration while still letting in light, then the shards can evidence a variety of etched or embossed patterns and colors. Common surface designs include snowflakes, dimples, and various geometric shapes. Pieces that appear to have chicken wire inside the glass are from safety glass. It was mu used mostly in municipal buildings and schools in the mid-1900s. Prior to the introduction of tempered glass, Colored flat glass, which brightened many Victorian doorways and true stained glass discards from homes and churches, are seldom found along the shore, but offer a great assortment of colored compared to common bottles. To confirm that a glass shard is truly flat, simply place it on a smooth countertop and look to make sure every portion is touching. Most shards are from bottles and tableware. Other than large plates and platters, they have a bit of curvature. So that's interesting. So that is a little bit of information about some sea glass. Okay. And what else is in here? Uh, so they're telling me that they have a sea glass calendar on sale for $12.95. And then 20% uh, off your orders from Pure Sea Glass. So they always have little coupons that come in here. I'm not sure how I feel about the coupons because I tend to forget to go to look at the coupons. Like when I buy a subscription, I think I know I know the vendors that put things in here want us to go back to their website. I just forget to do that. However, if I received an item from that vendor and I love it, I am much more willing to go to the website to look again to buy more stuff. But just giving me a coupon is uh eh. so anyway. Let's see what's in here. All right, so here's the first piece, and it's tied together. I th it's got like a little um, anchor. I think this is a scarf. What does it say? Well, it's a secret exclusive infinity anchor scarf. Anchor scarf. All right. A big scarf. Oh, it's an infinity. Okay, so here we go. That's cute. Obviously, not with what I'm wearing, <laughs> but yeah, that's cute. You can kind of spread it out so the anchor shows, and it's black and gray. That's cute. That's something that I'll put with my scarves, and I'm sure I'll wear that in the summer with a little beachy outfit. Cute. Okay, where am I put this stuff? There we go. All right. Next thing I'm seeing is sea glass soaps. This is pretty cool. Oh my God, how cute. Oh, I'm dropping it all over. Oh, it smells so good. 
Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can do the best to show you guys. All right, so here's what the container looks like. And you, can you see the little pieces in here? When you open it up, you have all this beautiful sea glass soap. So it's like little tiny pieces of soap that look just like sea glass. I don't know how you use this. It's so small. I don't know if this is like more for, there's 75 single use soaps in here. So I guess one piece of sea glass is used to wash your hands at a time. You get 75 washes out of this little jar. It's so cute. I don't want to use it. That is so cute. Look. That's, that is from BC Van Designs. Okay, and it says uh, BC Van Designs is a designer manufacturer of gift home and garden products. Exceptional quality and beautiful and functionality abound in our extensive product lines. And it goes on what they do. Um, there's a coupon here, and you get 15% off your purchase with the code in here. So, like, see, now that I know this, this is super cute. Like, if I wanted more little gifts for a beach lover. Then, since there's a coupon in here, just on the paper, I'll go buy something from them because they sent me something and I like that. So that's awesome. All right, so I like this one better so far. We got the soaps, we got the, well, we got a card, we got the um, scarf. What is this? I don't know. Let's see. So this is what I'm seeing. Usually they send you some sort of seashells and stuff and everything. Like last time we got like beach pottery um, and a couple seashells. Let's see if I can get this open. I can't get it open. But there's always some sort of like little sea treasure that comes with these little packages. Okay, I got it now. Let's look at the card. Maybe that'll help me figure out what the heck this stuff is. Copperhead Queen Jewelry. Sorry, I'm looking, because I'm looking down, I'm looking at um, what they're sending us here. So, some sort of jewelry. And rocks. Hold on. Okay, this is confusing. So, this is what I'm seeing. There's like a bunch of these, like, there's like three of these like little rocks. They're like beach pebbles or something. And then there's a charm, a copper charm, and it's got little wave design on it and a little, and a little crown. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. I'll take it out of the bag, but let me, let me read and figure out what these are. Cause I don't really understand what they are, to be honest with you. They, they're like rocks. Okay. So it says Copperhead Queen Jewelry. Um, Mary Mo McCrennan's been a Northeast Ohio native most of her life, a self-taught artistic rebel with some formal training in art history and design and metal smithing. Her true passion is, okay, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Included with your beach queen charm are vitrate beach glass nuggets from her favorite beach in Koana known as Black glass beach by the local mermies. A local GE factory dumped their end of day slag glass as land fell until the mid 1960s and this distinctive black amethyst glass was used to make insulators for light bulbs. Interesting. So this is pretty dang old going back to the 1960s and this is an amethyst glass. Uh, rock. Um, they don't really look purple to me, but oh yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah, you can see a little faint purple. You're not gonna be able to see it in the in the video, but so that's interesting. I think I might start taking all these like little beach things, these little washed up beach pebbles and glass and pottery, and putting them in a pretty jar or container and collecting them. Um, and then the little beach queen, I'm going to see if you can see this, charm to put, like, I guess on a necklace. 
see that it's got a little queen and a little little waves and it's copper made of copper all right and uh, what else I think I have a crab pin this I think is by salt and water is what it looks like I don't know what you do with pens I don't I don't really know I think that's what this is he's cute you guys see that there we go so that's just a little crabby. It is a pin. And it says Sierra started salt water making, salt and water making silver and sea glass jewelry two years ago after her daughter was born and after a decade of collecting sea glass from around the world. She relocated the Pacific Northwest after a long layover in Hawaii. You can follow her on Instagram and visit her Etsy shop, which is saltwater and seaglassetsy.com. So that is from her shop. Okay. All right. What is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a candy, like a sucker. And so this is by Melville Candy Company. It's family-owned, third-generation, confectionery company located in Randolph, Massachusetts. So cute. Look. It's a mermaid. Can you see her? She's so cute. Okay, so... And they produce gourmet, hard candy lollipops and chocolate. Opened in 1978 by father, father and son, Gary and Joe Melville. They proudly continue the Melville family tradition of creating custom confections to delight, delight the masses. Each product is handmade, packed, and inspected in the USA. So this is MelvilleCandy.com. Super, super cute. I'm going to put that back in here. It's it's still wrapped in an additional wrapping in here. That's cute. I don't know if I want to eat that either. It's so cute. And there's one more thing. The Beach Magnetic Poetry Kit from the makers of the original Magnetic Poetry Kit. Over 200 sun-kissed word magnets. Hold this box to your ear and you can hear the ocean roar. Okay, this is super cute. So this is one of those, can you see it, where you get all the little um, magnetic words and you can put it on your fridge and make sentences for people? So what does this say? Uh, the warm sands, the cool water, the carefree days, time spent at the beach is always magical. And now you can recreate that feeling anytime with a magnetic poetry beach kit. Whether you want to write a sonnet to suntanning or just a few lines about looking for seashells, you'll find the words you need in this kit. Open up a box, relax, you're at the beach. So that's super cute. Stick to your fridge locker or any steel surface. There's over 200 um, 200 word magnets in here and that is what the front looks like okay so overall um, this box feels more valuable to me than um, the, the last box that we got um, so I, I do like this as some people don't care about like getting the little the little sea glass or shells or things like that um, but I think they're neat there's a story behind them I got one one of the boxes I got a sand dollar and it actually told you that your sand dollar was beach combed on what beach by what person and you could actually go follow that person on Instagram. So that was kind of neat. Um, I really like the sea glass soap a lot and I like the mermaid um, sucker and I this is cute too, the little infinity scarf. So um, overall, much happier with this box than uh, last month's. I think that was a much better deal. I can't turn it upside down. It's all going to spill. I'll insert a picture for you guys. But, um, yeah, so super, super cute stuff and um, and uh, a cute box. So that is my secret for the month of February. I will link it below, and I will also link my Crate Joy link because you can look at any of the boxes that I do. Um, you can look for other boxes that might be more interesting to you as well. So that's it guys. I do get I did get my pop sugar in. That's going to come 
probably tomorrow I'll put that up. Um, I've been patiently not looking at anybody's Pop Sugars unboxing so that I can do it and be surprised and give you my genuine reactions. And um, I think I need to get a higher up seat in here um, if I'm going to do videos in here. I don't know that the lighting is much different. It might be better out there. But anyway, um, I'm going to do my Pop Sugar tomorrow. So that's coming. And have a great weekend. If you're new, please consider uh, consider subscribing. Share the love. We all you, our small YouTubers need help. Anytime I need a small, I see a U small YouTuber, I always like their videos and I always subscribe. Especially if it's things like beauty and fashion that I really love. So um, we have some stuff coming up on Valentine's Day too. So stay tuned. Take care.